What's up, guys? I'm back for another submission to Tim Ferriss's Cock Punch AI Art Competition. Um, I had some new ideas. I've got 12 hours, I think, left to submit. So I wanted to try something new and see if I could put one last uh, awesome submission together. So this is my video on the process. I've already started, as you can see, in my Discord right here uh, because I started started with these little rooster busts here. So um, if you didn't see the first set of what I did, basically I'm using Mid Journey for most of this. So that's what we're using right now. If you haven't used this before, you pretty much go to the either the Mid Journey Discord, uh, which is this guy right here, or you can add it to your own server, which is what I did here at my HyperGhost server. So I'm just gonna type Imagine to get the prompt going and then type what I want. The idea that I had here was to build so I love two different things. I love pixel art. Uh, it takes me back. I love 16-bit, like, Super Nintendo games. I love the 8-bit stuff for, like, NES. Um, but I also love, I have this deep love for Vincent Van Gogh. One of the projects that I've actually derugged is uh, Vincenia, which is a Vincent Van Gogh-inspired um, PFP, essentially. And... Um, you know, kind of saved that from the rubble and been working on that for many months now. But I love Van Gogh's uh, impasto style of painting. So I'm kind of blending pixel with impasto and then going to build the pieces of my character and merge them together in Photoshop. That's what we're going to attempt to do right now. Um, haven't tried this before, but let's do it. So as of right now, we've got... Uh, my first my first prompt, which is a pixelated rooster bust painted in the style of impasto. And this is what we got. We got these four options. Um, I'm going to run that again with an extra command because I do want it to be at like a 45 degree angle. Essentially, what I'm doing is going for this guy right here, which is I'll put him on this screen. This guy is my NFT. This is my cock punch NFT. Um, and he is pretty awesome. And I want to recreate him in this pixelated impasto style. So essentially what I'm trying to do right now is match these things up and I'm going to merge all these body parts together. So I think I got to try to get him at a 45 degree angle. Otherwise, I'm going to use one of these, probably this one, because this one's pretty dope. So uh, yeah, let's keep it going. So my prompt is going to be exactly the same. A pixelated rooster bust painted in the style of impasto facing a 45 degree angle. Let's see if that gives us anything different. And uh, while that's going, I'm gonna start making prompts for every single body part that we need here, uh, try to save some time. So this guy right here, um, Whew, we need a suit, we need a pin, uh, pinwheel tail, we need a leather glove in a fist, we need a purple glove in a fist, we need a spear, and we need some chicken legs. And this guy obviously doesn't do leg day at the gym, so we're going to need to probably incorporate that inside of our prompts. So I'm going to move this to my other screen so I can constantly see it now that you know what it looks like. Um, this is the close-up version. By the way, amazing detail on these renders. So freaking cool. So uh, let's start with making this little cock punch uh, into a pixelated impasto cock punch <laughs> right now. Um, these are these are interesting. This one might actually end up working, but it's a little strange. I really do like this previous one that I got earlier. So I might just try to make variations on that one or this one. These two are pretty cool. Um, not really feeling this one, to be honest with you. The 45 degree angle prompt didn't really help too much. So I think I'm just going to keep this guy and do variations of four and just see what we get with this guy. And at the same time, I'm going to say, imagine a pixelated, um, hmm, let's call it a pinwheel, I guess, pixelated pinwheel. Painted in the style of impasto. Let's see what we get there. These are pretty dope. 
They're very cool. Still think this original one's best though. This this one's kind of my favorite. So I think I'm just gonna um, upscale this to a bigger version. So I'm just gonna hit. This is one, two, three, and four, basically quadrants. Uh, so this guy is four. So I'm gonna upscale four, which is U four. I'm gonna hit that. Let that run simultaneously to all these other prompts that are getting run right now. Uh, let's start building other pieces to this, right? Um, imagine. A, hmm, woven leather glove with a giant clenched, I guess, clenched into a giant fist in this painted, <laughs> painted in the style of impasto. And we got to add pixelated, a pixelated woven leather glove. Let's see what that gives us. This guy, this is pretty cool too, but not quite what I'm trying to get. So I might have to specify the colors. We can try that one again. I'm just gonna copy this. Gin, paste, a pixelated pinwheel painted in the style of impasto. Red, blue, orange, yellow. And green. I'm guessing there's probably purple back there too. Green and purple. It's the rainbow. Oh, green and purple. This is pretty dope here. <laughs> Here's our upscale. Looking good to me. I'm going to save this guy or open the original and then save the original to my hard drive. And what I will do is also open up Photoshop. This is my art from the last submission. If you guys were following that one, pretty, pretty sick. I hope it wins because damn, that's awesome. Uh, custom, let's just do a 3000 by 3000. So I have a big, big, big square to work from. And I'm just going to start dragging in um, these other files that we have downloaded. So let's drag this guy in. Perfect. Now I want it to float the other way, so I'm just gonna right away just flip it horizontal so it's facing the other direction. We'll deal with all this later. I'm just gonna layer it first because actually now I have an idea that maybe layering them and not cutting, I was gonna cut them all out into pieces and build rebuild it, but maybe not cutting it out and leaving the squares of each image would be even cooler or blending them somehow. That could be really dope. So I'm gonna go back to Discord here. This is more like what I was thinking, guys. This one's pretty dope. Um, it's going to be really hard, though, with all the background stuff to cut this one out if that's what we decide versus something like this uh, or even this one. So I'm thinking maybe I might just go with this pinwheel one here because it's definitely a pinwheel. Looks pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to go upscale four on that guy. And then uh, these fists. I don't know if I'm really feeling these fists, guys. They're kind of neat, but it's like... Uh, Ah, they're not really, it doesn't really look like a leather glove. I mean, I guess maybe I should call it a gauntlet. Maybe that works better. Let's see. Imagine a pixelated woven leather gauntlet clenched into a giant fist painted in the in style of impasto. Punching the air. Let's try that. I mean, we'll see what we get from that. Wow. Anyway, let's keep going with our traits here. Um, I need, what else do I need from this? Oh, this is the wrong piece here. I need, ah, like a, like a, Leopard, okay. Imagine a pixelated le leopard print smoker's jacket in orange and lime green. <laughs> kind of odd, but okay. OK, 
Okay, this is a little bit better. Ooh, I like this one. This is looking very similar to what the fist was. It's just in a weird position, right? It's the wrong, it's the wrong hand. Um, so I'm gonna have to either mirror this somehow, or it technically needs to be, I kind of want it to be facing the other direction. So maybe I'll do variations on that one and just see what, what it gives us. So variation is on three. Um, this one I want to keep. So I'm going to open the original, save that. And let's drag that guy into Photoshop while these are building. It's here. This is cool so far. Uh, these are interesting, but not quite what I have in mind here. This is <laughs> this is actually put a leopard on there. That's funny. Oh my gosh, this is also not at all what I was going for. But you know, I don't even know what to do with this. Let's see. <laughs> I think I'm just going to re-roll this entire thing and see what we get. That's what this button does, by the way. It re-rolls the entire, your prompt exactly how it is, but does another four variations. Um, these fists are a little weird, man. Are they all, I'm trying to look at my own hand. Are these all lefties? And that one's a righty. This is a lefty. We need a righty for sure. So let's try this. Imagine a pixelated woven leather gaunt right-handed gauntlet punched into a fist painted in the style of impasto Try that. This gave me people. What the hell? <laughs> this is amazing. It put it on a model. I've never seen that done before. That's that's kind of incredible. And you know what's really weird about this is I could actually use this, I think, and just replace the head with my chicken head. This might be perfect, this freaking one right here. Um, oddly enough, it might actually be the one I use. I love this one. It looks like Elvis. This one's cool too, and this might work as well. This this is my fallback right here. Is this guy? What I'm gonna do is do variations of the bottom one. I'm afraid of what I'm gonna get from that, but you know what? We'll just run it. I'll run variations of the second one as well, and uh, we'll just see what those come up with. These are looking a little bit better. Um, what other things do I need here? I need uh, a spear, right? Imagine a pixelated long war spear in the painted in the style of impasto. Let's check that out as well. This is cool. These are funny as hell, man. I can't. This is so weird. Problem is, I love this jacket better than the one on the right. In each one of these scenarios, the left one is way cooler, but the, his arm is cut off in every single one of them. Um, so I'd either have to rebuild this and make it make it my own in Photoshop, or I'd have to like pull from this arm and like reattach it here. It'd, it'd be some kind of weird thing, but I'll figure that out, I guess. Hmm. All right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. These are not quite spears. They all look like swords. I don't know. I guess a spear is kind of a sword, but these gloves, kind of cool. This one's pretty neat. Um, again, it's the wrong hands. These, this is a lefty. They're all lefty hands. Figure that one out too and just modify it. All right, well, 
try that one again as well. Imagine a pixelated leather gauntlet. Clenched in a giant fist. Painted in the style of the Empire. These are a little nuts. That's not quite what I'm going for here. Imagine a pixelated long spear a spartan spear long spartan spear Trojan spear i mean what kind of word, what descriptor could i get to let them know that it's like a long spear pixelated long spartan spear painted in Pointing straight up. And I might need to do the uh, aspect ratio and make it uh, large so that it I can actually have more room to grow with this spear. So it might have to be uh, 9 by 16, actually. So let's try that. I don't know. Did I do version 4? I don't think I did version 4. Maybe I just have to change the version then to V3. Let's see what that does. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I guess by default, it's version 4 now on mid-journey. Good to know. Which means if you want to go uh, downgrade it to one of the previous versions that allow for those aspect ratios, you just have to type dash dash V and then add the letter or the number 3 in that case. So this is already more along what I was looking for, but we'll see how it does because I do like the art of version four. It's pretty good. So let's see what we got here. We roll the those. This looks pretty good, this one. I mean pretty similar to what we have this one also so what i'll do is i'll probably take this and just do variations on four and just see what we get this is looking a little weird not really this is already done it's not what i wanted so try to re-roll that see what it gets i'll tell you You'd think making AI art would be easy, but it's actually just as hard as regular art. <laughs> um, this is uh, very weird, this thing. So I'm just going to grab that. What would you call it? Like the backhand, I guess? The backhand? All right, let's get deep with our, our prompt here. Imagine a pixelated leather long leather gauntlet clenched in a giant fist facing down and to the right so only the back of the hand is visible painted in the style of impasto. And I'm also gonna say a pixelated long, long brown leather gauntlet. And let's see if that does anything different. Here's some spears. We got some spears. Still not really working out for me here. Um, let's try, instead of Spartan, let's just try, imagine a pixelated, long Trojan spear or Roman spear. Let's call it a Roman spear. Painting straight out and down in the style of impasto. V3, AR9 by 16. 
Still not getting what we want with this gauntlet. Ah. Uh, I mean, this is going to have to do, I think. Many times I could render this without before giving up or trying something new. This is so funny that they put models in it. What the heck? It's so weird. That's cool. I'm just going to take this one, I think. So let's do that. I'm going to upscale four. And get some variations on four, too, just in case there's something better. Then this does not look right either. I guess the Roman spears are not really spears. Let's see. Imagine a pixelated long war spear pointing straight up painted in the style of an imposter oh you know what this one doesn't have the impasto part i gotta go back and redo it it may not even fit what i'm trying to do here because of, of this uh-oh uh-oh. Let's see what we get if I do it the right way. I'm green painted in the style of impasto. That part is important because it's got that, it's got those thick brush strokes. I want everything to look the same, right? Be in the same world here. So those thick, this is not really impasto either, but at least it's thick, blocky kind of look. Um so far, really, only this has been the real like impasto style here, where you can see like thick brush strokes. Um, but technically, not even that one. I think uh, really this this is more of that style, or uh, this one even. But this is what we're going with now. And what a bunch of prompts we've done. <laughs> Okay, here's, <laughs> but it's just like a rocket. What is this? Oh my God. The stuff that's coming up with, what the heck is all this? This is awesome, by the way, but not anything that I could use. Also, if you're playing Warzone, I mean, jump in there. Um, This is cool. This could work. This can't really work. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll this again um, and get variations on one and see what we get there. I might end up just using this too, so I'll just open this for now and just uh, save that. And what I can do is I can just save maybe like... Oh, boy. I'll save, I guess, number two. On this one and then for the fist i'll just pick one so we can assemble you you can see what i'm actually trying to do here um this is actually facing the right way so i might just do variations of three because this is the only fist so far that's been in the right pointing in the right physical direction uh hopefully it gives me like a better version of this like a brown version um these coats are okay but also not quite what i'm looking for um let's see what we got down here Ooh, these are cool i love this one this is so dope it's it's facing the wrong direction but holy crap that looks awesome uh this is also very cool but not really correct this is also very cool but also definitely not facing the right direction um hmm mm -hmm -hmm. well uh i guess I can go with one of these guys. Kind of weird that the hands are in the pockets. I don't think that's going to help either. Um, damn, maybe I should just run it one more time, run it back one more time. Let's see what we get. Imagine a pixelated leopard print. Or let's try the colors up here orange and lime green leopard print uh three-piece suit i guess um 
facing 45 degrees to camera right and painted in the also. Can you tell I'm getting tired already? Holy crap. Um, all right, I'm gonna open this one, save it. The hard drive. Um, and then I'm going to, wow, okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go with three on this one. <sighs> did I save this one already? I think I did. Save it again, just to be safe. Yeah, I did save it again, okay. Oh, this is so cool, but this is so not what I'm looking for. Oh my God. <laughs> this is dope. I might just make these into my own NFT collection. Wow, that's cool. Uh, this might actually be the one I want. Oddly enough, this looks pretty pretty great. So I'm gonna just upscale uh, three and maybe also do variation on three just in case. This art is so dope. Uh, like, look, look at how cool this is. I might just make this into my own uh, NFT collection, so watch out for that. Hopefully uh, you don't steal my idea. <laughs> um, let's see. This is cool. Okay, we're getting our smokers jackets. They're coming in, they're coming in. Here's our fist. Our fist is done. Open that guy. Uh, cool, cool. And I really like, I think I like this, this one. So I'm going to upscale number one. I'll just wait for that one. So I'm going to get two suits. I'm going to get the this one, which might actually still be the better of the two. Uh, and then this one, which is a little different. Uh, but that's pretty cool so far. So we're almost there. Uh, the next part's going to be the hardest part. <laughs> um, and probably the longest part. So it's kind of funny that I've already spent 30 minutes trying to build uh, pieces to this puzzle. We haven't even gotten to the hard part yet, guys. So let's save that image as well. Okay. Is that all we're waiting for? I think that was all we're waiting for. There might be one more of these. Yeah, there's one more uh, scale happening right now. All right, in the meantime, let's open this back up. I'm gonna grab, grab some more pieces. Let's put this in there. Oh, I gotta place this. Place that down. Let's put this in here. Cool. That looks good. Let's grab the fist. Cool. I'm already just gonna rotate this in the direction we need it. <laughs> um, let me grab this coat. Same thing. Let's flip this horizontal. Because uh, it needs to be like this, right? Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna put this underneath uh, our cock head label here. And you could probably see what I'm doing now, right? Like you can, I'm pretty sure you can tell already what's what's going on over here, right? <laughs> so now the question is, okay, we gotta assemble all this stuff together. I do need one more piece, which is a purple glove. Uh, so let me get the purple glove and I need the, the pants too. So let's do, imagine a pixelated, Purple glove clenched in a fist. Um, in the style of impossible. I guess you could get that. Um, imagine pixelated purple and green uh, ripped pirate shorts. Okay, and then imagine um, pixelated 
chicken legs and feet with white toenails. Toenail claws, because I don't want it to give us uh, human toenails. Uh, white toenail claws in the style of a prince. Okay. Uh, this is cool. This is actually going to be perfect, I think, this one. Or really, this one is going to be perfect because this is the correct angle. This is the opposite. This also looks like a little penis, which is very weird. <laughs> um, let's do uh, upscale. Th whoa, whoa, whoa. Upscale three on that one. This is so funny. Why is there a pirate on his crotch? Okay, this reminds me of a joke. Um, a pirate walks into a bar and he's got a steering wheel on his crotch. And the bartender says, hey, um, what's up with the steering wheel on your crotch? And the pirate responds, Arr, I don't know, but it's driving me nuts. That's my joke. Anyway, um, these are very weird shorts. I don't think I would purchase any of these in real life. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll this thing and see what we get. What is this? These are the chicken legs? Oh, my God. These are the creepiest little things I've ever seen in my life. What is this? No, 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 no. Uh, how do I redo this one? <laughs> Imagine uh, two long chicken le two <sighs> pix two long pixelated chicken. Let's call them rooster legs because rooster legs. Two long pixelated rooster legs in the style of Impasso. Let's just do that because I don't know what the heck else we're going to get. Oh, the joys of figuring out your prompts. This is funny. Okay, so, uh, wow. I don't really know what to do with this, but you know what? I think I'm just going to take these because these, oh, they're not done yet. Okay. Yeah, I mean, ugh, these don't really work so well, but this one probably is the best of all of them. So I'm just going to grab, uh, I'll, let's do a variation of four and then grab one of those. And then this one, I got to save. I'm open the original one here. Save it. I'm going to open up my Photoshop. I'm going to grab that fist. We're going to fist this right here. Yeah, look at that. Boom. So now you can see how this is all tying together, right? I'm sure you guys can notice what's happening here. I'll pull back my, uh, I'll show you my uh, cock punch NFT again. See this guy? You probably now notice what's happening here with this image, right? Starting to look kind of similar. I thought so. Now, do we care that much about these shoulder pads? I don't even know how to get those to be honest we just need these we need the pants the pirate pants and the the feet and i think i'll be happy with that design uh it'll be pretty close but having a little bit of trouble with that as of right now not really sure what's going on with uh our prompts so these pirate <laughs> i just saw the roosters okay these pirate pants will will work i guess it's better than nothing. Um, let's take, I think, these. These are crazy. Um, I will take, I think, four. So let's upscale four. This is not what we need, although I do like both of these. I, honestly, I might even upscale this one and print it out and put it up on the wall. That looks like a pretty cool painting. Um, how about we just try to do one and then we duplicate it? So let's try, imagine a long, skinny chicken, chicken leg, pixelated, long, skinny, pixelated chicken leg painted. Leg and foot.
might have to pass a reference image to this one. Um, let me look and see if I can find something online that like looks kind of like what I'm looking for here. Their legs and feet. Okay, so. Uh huh. Let's use this as an. Okay. Yeah, this is not working out. <laughs> okay, so I'm using this image as, uh, and I'll show you where this is actually. I found this image of chicken feet. And so I'm gonna use this image online to, uh, as, an, as a reference, right? So I'll, let me do imagine, and I'm gonna put that URL for that image. And then go back to this prompt because this kind of gave us sort of what we wanted. I don't really like that one, that one's too weird. Um, wasn't there another one that we tried that didn't work? Really, I didn't try that three times? I thought I did. Chicken legs. Oh, this, okay. Pixelated rooster legs in the style of a So let's see. Boom. Let's see, hopefully that works better and gives us an actual reference image. This could potentially be used, uh, but I, it's kind of a little too crazy. Is this bird shitting? What is this? <laughs> I love this. It's so much fun. In the meantime, I think I can start assembling this. Now, the question is, do I want to keep it like this? Probably not. I don't think it looks good. So I'm going to push my keyboard to the side a little and grab my well, Wacom pen here, and I'm going to just start painting. Um, what I'm going to do is on my secondary screen here, I'm going to pull up my reference image so I know what I'm seeing uh, right here. And then what I'm going to do is just start. Well, I'm going to mask out pieces of this and keep the rest. So what I'll do is I'll add a little layer mask here. Um, I'm just going to paint black on the areas that I don't want and white on the areas that I do want. I can also select areas. I might try to do that first, to be honest, because I think this would make a pretty quick and easy selection. So I'm going to do the quick select tool. And just pick, I don't want this on, I don't want. Okay, let me zoom in here. I'm gonna grab this rooster character bust here. Cool, that looks good. This looks pretty good. I want this whole thing, I want this. This is selected too much. I don't want any purple parts of this image except for this. Okay. Unselect that, select this. I think this is pretty much the selection that I want. Uh, you can actually go to select and mask to refine this selection. Uh, this kind of shows me what parts were selected and what parts were not, and it actually looks pretty damn good. So I'm just gonna hit refine here just to see what it does. Oh, that's beautiful. And just hit okay. That has now selected everything I want. I'm gonna um, oh, okay. This will select the inverse and fill that with black. And I should erase the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now we've got wow, your head, which is now already attached pretty much to the suit. However, what I'm going to do is place it underneath the suit. And we're going to do the same thing with the suit. So I'm going to hide a bunch of these uh, layers here, everything except for the suit. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to actually just select this suit. Uh, I will use the object selection tool because usually it does a pretty good job now. Photoshop is getting crazy with their AI as well. Uh, I'm on the wrong layer, which is why I did not pick this. So you want to be on the layer that you're trying to select, um, which is the suit layer. Boom. And now it should pick. Pretty much the suit. It did a great job. I'm gonna just touch that up 
uh, by adding a little bit of a selection here to this suit jacket. I want the whole suit, nothing but the suit. Uh, that looks good. And I'm going to alt select this because I don't want that piece. And now I can just select the layer mask and it will just cut that out automatically. It looks like there's a bit of a straggler here. So I'm just going to take my black brush and um, what which image is that on? Is that on the, oh, this is on the rooster image. So I'm just going to paint this out, this little border here. Oh, get that out of there. Paint this out as well. That's pretty cool. And now, pretty much what I'm going to do is I actually want the rooster layer on top of the suit layer, but I want the rooster coming out of the suit layer. So what we can do is um, I can expand. Well, I think the best course of action here is to just align this to where I think he his head should be coming out of the suit, which is something around here that looks about right. And then I'm going to make this semi transparent real quick, just so I can see where the actual suit is. Um, and then this is a little weird. I think, okay, I might have to shrink him slightly then. Okay, the head needs to come out a little bit less. I mean, kind of like, I feel like the head would be somewhere like here. Like this is the actual head. It's tough. That's a tough call right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint black uh, around the area of the actual suit that I am covering up his head. So it's, it would be like the jacket here, uh, something like that, a piece here, right? And then his chest, this would be underneath the in the jacket, technically, all of this. So now let's... Um, Raise the opacity on that and just see what that looks like. Okay, that's pretty that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna paint this out here uh, and continue with this to make it feel like he's kind of sticking out of the suit here. That looks pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. That looks great. Okay. Um, the suit jacket technically would still come up to here, I think. I don't know. I think the whole entire... Um, in reality, this whole piece would actually be visible. I don't know that you'd see much of the head coming past the suit jacket. Like that is a little weird, right? Like, although I don't mind it, I kind of, I really do like the feathers. So I'm actually just gonna backyard that twice and just uh, Yeah, I kind of like that. I mean, you know, maybe it's his uh, feathers are just so long that they're they're coming out of the the collar and laying down on the, the ground. I'm gonna punch in and uh, just add a couple final touches to this, just like a little bit. Make sure that the uh, dirt is included and that some of this shadow is included because then it's really like he's inside of this suit here. Yep. It's visible. Something like that. Or at least the collar, right? The shirt collar. Something like that. Cool. Create a fake uh, collar here. I'll just finalize that. And I'll just paint back some of these feathers. It's like kind of going over the top of the, the shirt collar here. We don't want the white part because that's like his neck. So that will hide a little bit from that screen. Maximize purple as well. Just to boost others. Bam! And there's our guy so far. Okay. Oh, uh, what am I doing right now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> next. I guess let's get the fist in there. It's a pretty good fist. 
Oh boy. All right, same thing. I want to now select this fist. Uh, kind of weird looking at it upside down because now this imposter style is cool and all, but um, it's not the right color for this glove. So I'm going to select as good a selection as I can here. Uh, that's pretty good. I don't think you need much more than that. Um, to now also do this and then I'm going to add some color to this. I think I'm just going to make the whole thing brown. So I'm just going to grab a solid color. Um, we'll go down to some kind of uh, dark, dark brownish color here. And then I'm just going to say color on that. So it changes everything underneath it to that color. Um, ooh, that's even too dark. Let's adjust that to like a more like, oops reddish brownish like that uh, and I only want that to affect this layer I don't want it to affect everything so what I'm going to do is hold alt and click in between the layers and that'll only apply it to the fist that's cool and then I can even just like change the opacity of that so it's just like some color comes in a little bit but it's still pretty much brown that's that's kind of what I'm looking for right there uh, and then what I'll do is I will resize this layer to now fit the uh, the suit jacket and kind of reposition it so it's like kind of just gonna do this that looks kind of cool that looks pretty much like the fist that we have in our image so I'm gonna do I think that right there maybe even like uh, make the fist a little bit bigger right because we want that cock punch fist to be huge. A huge cock punch fist. We want a big cock punch fisting happening here. I'm actually going to shrink it down a little bit so that it looks a little bit more narrow. Um, trying to just look at my reference image here. That I think it's pretty cool there. And so now that we have that where we want it, I've got to go back to the suit, which is this layer, and I have to paint out the part that we don't want, which is going to be everything under the glove. So all of this needs to get gone right there. That will now look like the arm is actually going into the fist. And I'll bring my reference image back on screen here for a second. Um, right here. See what I mean? We got this fist and it's going into the arm. I could technically even go a little higher up, but I think based on the length of the torso here, this is kind of good. So that's what we got so far. We got to go back now to our thing and go look for this uh, this purple fist here. Oh, wait, we added it earlier. So, okay. Moving on, let's just see what we got on our uh, display here. Okay, we've got some chicken feet. Finally, so the reference image really helps. That's great. That's absolutely great. Okay, so this is a very strange image, but we're only really looking at this piece of it. Um, and I really like this one, although these are pretty dope too. So maybe I'm going to go with this one on the bottom here. So I'm going to uh, do an upscale of four. And then as far as the pirate pants go, I think these are the ones that we settled on. So I'll open those and... Uh, just save the freaking pirate pants. Not exactly the best, but we'll, uh, we'll have to go with that. So, all right, getting there, getting there. Okay, back to Photoshop. Uh, I'm gonna save my work real quick because, you know, you gotta, gotta save your work. I don't even care if it's untitled, that's fine. Next piece, okay, we got our pinwheel. We've got our purple glove. I think that's the next piece to this puzzle. TBH. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Not quite as long as we need it to be, but that's all right. Uh, that's this one here. Okay, good. So we now will select that. I'm going to grab not the spot here and brush the selection tool. I'm going to select this glove right here. Okay, cool, 
cool, cool, cool. That's cool. And we are going to uh, basically create a mask there. Boom. Nice. We've got our little fist. Now, this fist is supposed to be smaller than the other fist, so we're going to just resize this down to like be a normal size fist. Uh, the other problem is, is it's definitely going to be longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to cheat a little bit here. Um, I'm going to add another layer on top and grab the clone stamp brush and basically hold down alt and clone this piece of the fist. Start over here and essentially just clone the length of this. Um, and then again, and just continue making it longer um, until it's the length we need it to be. <laughs> so that's a little bit better. Now, the only other problem is this arm now needs to be bending into this. Uh, so I need to do something similar with the arm, right? And grab, uh, I guess, sheesh, let me, if I hide the fist, the other fist, other fist, there we go. Yeah, we don't really have a bend in the arm there either. I need to create a bend here. So what I'm going to first do is, I guess, just erase uh, oops, black the suit here. What we don't need is this suit. So we don't need the arm because the arm should be up top. So I'm just going to paint that away. Uh, and what I'm doing is, this is a non-destructive editing technique. Essentially, if you're um, painting with black on a mask, you're just you're just hiding it. You're not actually erasing it. So if at any time I mess up or I need to add something, you just switch back to white and you can paint it back in. So that's a really cool pro tip for anyone who's new with Photoshop um, on how to actually edit non-destructively so you can go back to your work if you fuck it up. Um, okay, so this is looking a little weird because it's not really, his arm is not really going in there properly. I can try to create like a rounded edge here so it looks like at least the arm is going in there, but then this is also kind of weird slightly. So I don't really how to get around that besides painting this out. Now his arm looks very, very tiny, but you know what? At least it looks like it's pointing in the right direction, right? I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go with that. That looks good enough for me. Um, I just wanna make a more of a harder edge here. Oops, wrong color. It's more of like a hard edge so that it's not, it doesn't look so faded, right? It looks intentional. Because that's what we want. We want to put some tension behind this. Cool. That's good. I like it. I might have made this glove too long. So uh, what I can do is uh, we can just hide the piece that we just built. So I'm going to just hide like this amount here, probably. And then we can move this, both of these together uh, here. So that, that feels a little bit nicer. It's about the more appropriate length. Um, okay, after that, okay, we want to lock this stuff. So this is where Photoshop starts getting crazy. So you usually want to take care of your layers. So I'm going to group these into one thing. I'm going to call it uh, Purple Fist. So we know what that is. Um, this thing is the brown fist, right? So I'm gonna group these two together and call this the cock punch fist. Um, we have our suit. We have our rock head. Um, and then we've got now this, which is our spear. And we now need to place the spear, I'm sure you guessed it, into the fist. 
Now, according to my image, it's double ended. So, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is first place it, shrink it a little bit, make sure that it's the thing is in the right direction here. Okay. This is a very large sphere according to my reference image. So, two things are going to happen. One, I'm going to transform and hold shift to elongate this thing nice and long. Okay. That's what she said. Uh, I'm going to duplicate it and flip it so that we can now make it double ended. And then I just got to line this thing up. So I'm going to, oh shit. I uh, don't want to change the size of the barrel. So I'm going to hold shift and just shrink the length of this down slightly. So we'll do like something like that. Uh, and then I'm going to line this up here. And what I'm going to do is merge those two things together. Those two layers. Okay. Select the spear. So let me get rid of the purple fist and try to use my AI object selection tool to pick just the spear. Let's see if it can find it. Yes, it did. AI, even in Photoshop, saving time, click on that and that should select just the spear for us. Yep. Uh, hit the mask tool button to get rid of that. Perfect. Let's bring the purple fist back up. Cool. Kind of looks like he's holding it. Wow, look at that. Only problem is, is he's not really because it's going through the fist. So what we have to do now is actually move the spear above the fist so it's on top. And then we need to erase part of the spear. So we'll make it a little transparent so we can see what, what we're looking at. Essentially, we just need to hide uh, where the, the fingers are fists. So the fingers are holding that spear, right? And so um, right, does that look right to you? And then we bring it back. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's pretty close. It's a little strange. Because I think this thumb is not really really where it should be holding it right would it look weird if we painted that part back in probably i think it's a little definitely kind of weird um, but let's see what that looks like if we bring this back to 100 percent a little strange yeah because why would this be going through his palm that doesn't make any sense at all It looks very odd to me. Um, but yeah, that doesn't look right. So basically, we gotta bring this back. Bring the spear back. Why is it doing that? that that's a little strange. Cool, cool, cool. Bring the spear back. Let's get rid of it there. He's holding the spear. He's holding the spear. Let's save, because Lord knows I don't want to do this all over again. This is a very long uh, submission. Hope you guys like this video so far. It's freaking almost an hour long. <laughs> all right, what's next? We got the freaking tail here let's make that oh wrong layer let's make sure we're selecting the pinwheel let's call it okay gotta make that bigger because he needs a big pinwheel tail right off the back end here and same thing with this right i'm gonna just uh hold alt and click this to just isolate it 
select the subject of this using AI, and with that, it did it for the most part. There's some pieces missing. Uh, I want to add this here. The rest of this, I think, is okay. We're going to isolate that. Perfect. Now let's hold Alt and bring everything back again. And this should go on the back of everything, essentially. This should not even be anywhere close to where he is. So now I'm going to just align it so it is looking kind of dope and looks like a tail behind him. Something like that, I think. You can rotate slightly to just get that similar kind of uh, pinwheel look as my character here. Maybe raise it up a bit. Something like that, I think. Um, and just so you guys can see where how far we've come with this, um, let me bring my character back on screen here. Right here. It's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with this so far. So we just got to do the pirate legs and the pants. The pirate pants and the chicken legs. <laughs> and we're good to go. So I'm going to grab, uh, go back into here. We got our chicken legs. I'm going to open the original version of that. I'm going to save that on my hard drive. The hard drive. And we're going to go back into Photoshop. Make a bunch of awesome people. And um, I'm going to now drag in my pirate pants. Boom, boom, boom. Let's move these to the top so we can see them. Uh, and I'm also going to drag in my chicken legs. Cool, cool, cool. Now comes the tough part. We want to select only, well, I need my reference image back on the other screen here. We want, okay, the chicken legs are pretty long. Doesn't really have feathers, but I kind of like that they're there. So I'm going to actually just try to select the legs. Little chicken legs here. Rooster legs, cock legs, whatever you want to call them. You know? Um, this is a very difficult selection, this one. Sheesh. Bring out some Pro Tools here in a second. I'm talking about I'm not familiar with the pen tool. Boy, I do this all day for work, but I might have to do it now for for this. <laughs> so the pen tool is pretty cool. You can build an actual path. So I'm actually clicking each time on this and just making points. Uh, of where I want to select. This is very tedious, but it is the method on how to perfectly cut anything out of Photoshop. Um, you can cut people out and add, this is how people like add heads to other bodies or things like that. Um, you can cut out pieces of any image and move it around and put it somewhere else. Um, that's what this pen tool is for. However, you will see now how tedious it actually is uh, to use because you need to select the points that you want and it needs to be accurate. So it's time consuming to get a good selection right, um, but, but you can get a much more accurate selection than any other tool because you know exactly where you're clicking. And I'm doing this for speed uh, over accuracy right now just because I, uh, this is a long video and this needs to get done a little bit quicker. So I'm just going to zip through it. You can also see my appreciation for why the AI selection tool is way, 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 way cool. Cause it cut this literally into seconds, uh, as that thing processed its information, you saw how quickly it made selections and 95% of the selection was accurate. I only had to make minor touch-ups with a lot of those versus literally going through and selecting the entire angle and pieces that I want here. And 
And you can do a much better job than what I'm doing right now with this. So you take your time. For example, right there, it kind of arcs so you can drag a little bit and make it more smooth. Um, but again, because this is something I do all day long, I'm a little impatient with it right now. Now, the cool thing about the selection here is that I know that we're trying to put these into pants. So I can just ignore all the rest of this stuff and just make it like legs here, right? And actually just take the legs uh, that I want separately right here. And probably, I probably don't even need this piece, but we're just gonna jump over to take that as well. Um, and then we're gonna go to selection and then create the selection. So now I, I have selected that. Now the only problem is we have all this that needs to go too. So what we do is we make another path. Oh boy. And I gotta go in here and cut all this out. And we're gonna make another path there. This one's gonna be a little sloppier because I don't really care too much about this inside section uh, here. And I'm just gonna go quickly make a bunch of dots. Tap, 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 tap. And now we're gonna go to selection and we're gonna go to subtract from selection because we don't want that part in there. That now disappears. And now we can go and mask out the whole thing. So now we got our chicken legs. These chicken legs are gonna go down here where they freaking belong. Holy crap, this looks so weird. Uh, and now we gotta grab our pirate shorts. Let me label these uh, rooster legs. Let's call them cock legs. Just we let's let's keep it going with the the cock punch theme. Uh, I'm gonna click on the shorts, shorts, and um, first of all, we know that we're gonna have to um, horizontally flip these. Second, uh, I'm gonna try to align them so that they kind of work with the pants here. All right, these. Mm. Tough, but it looks like his body would be like about this big, maybe a little wider, like something like that. I think maybe these would be like up here. That looks about right. And then we're gonna try, we're gonna hide the chicken legs, the cock legs. I'm gonna try to make a quick selection here with for the pants, which seems like it's working pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, took a little too much there. We don't want whatever that is. It looks like the ocean. Uh, that looks like a good selection to me. Let's mask it out. Boom, we got some pants. We gotta put the shorts underneath the suit because we want them, yeah, we want them underneath the suit. Like, exactly like that. Actually, that looks pretty freaking good. Um, the only part that's a little weird is the part that goes through the suit. So I'm just gonna move the legs a little bit right here. That's cool. Uh, and I'm running out of space for my legs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab everything on here, including the cock legs. And we're gonna, uh, everything but the background. And I'm just gonna move everything up a little bit. Um, I might even shrink it down slightly and then move it up so we have a little bit more space to work with here. Put that spear right at the top. Um, perfect. And then grab my cock legs. I'm gonna also move those below the shorts. And now these are gonna have to get wider. So I might have to split them. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to split them. So here's what, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab um, this tool, my lasso, and I'm gonna just draw a selection here and it looks pretty good. Loop around, I'm gonna grab this piece and I'm going to transform just this piece. Can I do that? No, that doesn't work. Um, let us, okay, here's what I'll do. I'll just copy that part, copy merged. I'll paste them. Okay, cool. That's one leg. And then the second leg I will select, uh, we'll do this. Boom, boom, boom. Same thing, same thing. But now we take the right leg. Cool. And then I'm going to copy that, copy merged. Cool. Paste that. Now we've got two separate legs. So I'm going to hide the cock legs. Uh, and now I'm going to take each of these legs separately and put where it's supposed to go. So this is going to fit somewhere like over here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and like stick it kind of right there. All right. It's good. Um, and then I'm going to grab this 
leg and make this a little bigger just to match. Let me put this leg over here. That looks good too. Okay, now we gotta go to our shorts. And since we have these, let's label this right leg and then label this one left leg. Okay. And then we'll go back to our shorts and we're gonna erase uh, with black some of the parts that we don't need. So we obviously don't need the leg in the shorts because the chicken leg is gonna be there. And then that's good there. This short can go here, put them right there. And this one's okay. This leg's already good to go, essentially. The other one was a little too long, so I'm going to have to go back in now to the leg, the left leg, even though that's technically the right leg, now that I'm looking at this, it's camera left leg. I'm just erase uh, part of that right there. Straighten it out a bit there, cool. I could even, uh, adjust it so it's a little bit more, makes a little bit more sense here, something like that. And then we'll just get rid of uh, the rest of this piece here. All right, cool. Um, and then the right leg is looking pretty good. We can raise that up a little bit slightly too, just to match everything that's going on here. Match the height, right? It's cool. And then I'll take a little bit of that right leg off as well, like it, just to blend it, make it look a little bit more like it's coming out of the pants. And guys, I think that's it. Now, the only thing it, is that um, it seems like I'm losing, um, I'm losing a bit of the glove. I'm losing a bit of the pinwheel. There's certain parts of this that just aren't lining up. So. A lot of that has to do with shadows mostly. Um, also, what I don't know what's going on over here. I have to figure out what layer this is. <laughs> gotta fix that too. Also gotta fix this. But I think that's the shorts. So always zoom in because there's usually pieces that are missing or left out or kind of creating weird colors uh, in your image. So that. That can go, this can also go, like we want this to be lined up with the actual thing here. Oh, it looks like this is all part of the shorts layer. So I'm just gonna erase all of this stuff right there. That's good. And then same thing here, like, do we really need all of this? I don't, I mean, I don't know. This could probably all just get erased real quick here. Only problem is below that we have the leg layer. So that also needs to go right there and then this leg layer feels a bit yeah that looks better something was wrong with that it felt it just felt wrong okay cool bring back some of that right leg perfect 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 this is looking pretty dope so now what I was saying about shadows is um, now that we know all of these pieces, we can put layers in between them and add shadows. So for example, this pinwheel, I know between the pinwheel and the suit, there should be a shadow there. So I'm just gonna add a layer on top of the pinwheel. Um, we're gonna go with like, a, no, no shadow is actually pure black. This is kind of blue what this one is. Technically we wanna go to like this orangey color, which is what that, sh that shadow would be like this kind of, orangey brownish black um, and then i'm going to switch my flow to like one percent on my brush and just paint in a shadow underneath the suit and on top of the pinwheel and that kind of like indicates that the suit is in front of the pinwheel uh, as well as this glove here so just by darkening that area below kind of gives the character a little bit of depth um, as you can see now, it looks like that's it's a little bit more 3D. So I'm gonna do that also on top of the shorts and the jacket. So I need to go to the, the suit is the lowest one we want. Um, and I'm gonna add another layer there for a shadow. And this shadow I'm gonna put on the actual suit itself for, from the fist, right? So this is a shadow created by this giant fist and also on the shorts. Uh, and this should separate out the fist from the background slightly, right? Um, it's not 
it, it's making it a little bit more noticeable, right? Um, but I might even add like a little glow to that. You can you could add a whole nother layer on top of that, which has like a maybe a light kind of mystical kind of like glow around the uh, the fist here, so that we can see it a little bit better, right? Something like that, right? Or we can even add like some purple or like something to make it like the fist is steaming, like maybe a little bit of uh, uh, orange or something, or red, a bright yellow or red, just to separate it a little bit from uh, the background here, give it a little glow. That's kind of that right there, perfect. So now we can see that fist uh, much better. Now the cool thing about the fist is, uh, or these layers is you can, change the opacity on them. So we'll just lower that to about 65% so that it's there, but it's not too overpowering. Uh, and then I also want to add a little bit more of that shadow layer uh, underneath the glove here. Because that is going to make it look like the arm is actually inside the glove. So let's add a bit of a shadow line here. Just painting, painting at 1% with a very low opacity over and over again to, until it looks semi-realistic. Uh, and I might have painted a little too much there. It should be very close to the glove line. So uh, I'm just going to grab my eraser tool and just erase the line that's leading up to that. So right there, that looks pretty good. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So this is actually the suit. So same, I could even just continue painting, whoops, right on top of this to give it that same kind of like feeling like the suit is going into the glove here. That's cool. And I think that's pretty much everything. We can do the same thing on the shorts. We find the shorts and the legs, we can add a layer above the legs, but below the shorts that now create like this little shadow line uh, from the shorts. So now we know that they're kind of coming up. Shorts are creating a shadow on top of the legs. Uh, looks pretty good too. I think that's it, guys. I think that's our impasto style rooster. Now, what's crazy is we could upload this image and try to use this as a reference, or we just keep this as what, what it was, right? So now in our other reference, the cool thing is this whole thing, oh, what, what did I do here? I painted some stuff. Don't let me paint stuff on the white. What is this? See, the only problem is now we gotta find out what layer that is. What did we do here? Oh boy, oh boy, we overstepped our way. Bounds. Always color within the lines, guys. Come on. We learned that as a five-year-old. All right. This is cool. Now, the, the awesome thing about this whole entire thing is that if I take off the background right now, oh, no. <laughs> I guess, oh, because I copied Merge. So we technically also have the background copied onto our feet, which was a mistake by me. Oh, my gosh. I could fix that with some painting. However, you could also save this as a PNG, essentially. Um, but we're going to keep the background as is. Um, the problem with these legs is now I have to fig figure that part out. So let me actually just quickly paint around that area. Get that out of here. Let's raise up the flow so I can just quickly just paint all this white stuff out of here. We don't want any background colors over here. One cool way to find uh, how much you still need to take out is to add another background layer that's not white. Um, essentially, it will help you see the pieces that you're missing. So what I can do is once I get what I think I have is most of it right here. You can add a, um, this background will hide it. You're not gonna see what's going on. You just add another color, like a gray is usually a pretty good one. And the gray is going to let you see all the pieces that you missed, right? So now I see this I missed, this I missed. It'll help you get all those little parts that like you thought you got, but you really didn't get. Uh, and I'm okay with a little glow on the feet here because it's kind of, you know, what's going on here. I don't really need to 
and rip the cork. Right. This is the left leg. So now I want to get rid of this left leg. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Right here. Boom, boom, boom. Bada, bada, bing, bada, boom. Bada, bada, big, bada, boom. Yeah, I'm losing my mind. You guys can hear it already. Oh shit. Oh, too much. I don't want to get all the leg, just the white part. So it's pretty hard to, with such a large brush. I'm trying. Okay, let's paint back some of this real quick. Get that bugged up. Get that bugged it up. Let's, let's go back to the right leg. Paint out some of the right leg here. This is the long way on how to uh, mask this stuff is just painting masks with black and white. Uh, if you like using your Wacom and you like physically painting on things, this is a fun, relaxing way to do it. But it is the long way. This definitely takes a lot longer and it's a lot, you need to have a lot more patience than selecting with another method. But I tend to just like to clean it up like this. So there we go. That's pretty good. Now that we've done this, I can, uh, this is going to kill my OCD over here. I need to paint this back. I need to paint this back here. The left leg. This is definitely uh, killing me here. Painting, painting, painting. Get rid of his. This one, you can even adjust your brush so that the hardness is even softer. Whoops, wrong color. Okay. Boom. Looking good, looking good. This is the piece I wanted to get rid of right here. I've got to change the brush size, shrink it up, shrink it up. Getting there, getting there, little tootsies right here. Okay. Oops. Cool. Good enough, good enough. That's pretty good for me. Um, okay. He looks a little faded here, so I'm actually gonna go to my cockhead and uh, paint couple things. First, I'm going to paint a little bit more of this. We're missing some of this. Why is our feathers all missing? This is weird. Okay. Try to paint out all the purple areas because that's the background. I don't want that. I don't want that. That's cool. That looks uh, still kind of feathery. Let me get rid of some of this extra here. This extra, that's cool. And then I'm going to try to paint back some detail here because it looks like, yeah, we lost a little bit of it somewhere over in this area here. Got a solid, solid cockhead. Solid as can be. Cool. This breaks. All right, I think we're done, guys. Finally, finally done. Wow, that was a journey. Um, we're at, oh my God. Have I not been recording? It's The time has not moved from 54 minutes, so I actually don't know how long this has been or if it's even still going, but... I hope it is. It looks like it is. We'll see, I guess, at the end of this, if it's still, if it's all here. But basically, at this point now, what I can do is I can add um, to this color fill, I'll just add a gradient. Um, and we can add just a linear gradient uh, of this, like, gray and white, like a basic kind of kind of gradient here. But we'll just change the black to white. And we'll make this like a like a grayish kind of color. And then um, that we could 
just add right here, right? And that kind of matches, uh, except for that black that shouldn't even be there. Whoops. So maybe it's this, this oh yeah, this is what I was trying to go for. Okay, boom, something like that. Perfect. Now that kind of looks like what we had before. So to summarize, we now have this crazy image. We have, let me grab my guy here. This was our original cock punch NFT reference image right here. Okay. And we created this using nothing but AI and Photoshop to basically tie all the pieces together. So this is a pixelated impasto style uh, image of the cock punch NFT number, I believe. Uh, 3624 is mine. So there we, there you have it. I mean, this is pretty cool. Now to finalize this really, really finalize this. I'm noticing a couple things here. Number one is he's got a white shirt, not a green shirt. Number two is he's got green feathers, not red feathers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. First, I'm going to move this to off the screen. Okay. And then I'm going to create a new layer, a new color layer, solid color. And I'm going to try to select from here, but I'm actually going to hold, hold down the mouse, drag over to my other screen and click on the, uh, click on his feathers there to get the color. Now I got my color. I don't know why I dragged this whole thing over here. That's fine. That's the color we're looking for, for the, for the feathers. Uh, and then now I'm just going to go to color again. Boom. And we're going to invert this. So I'm going to hit control I to invert the mask. And now I'm just going to paint white on top of all the things that I want to be that green. So his feathers are one of those things. Now, obviously his little chin balls here are supposed to be red. So I'm going to avoid those. Um, but I'm going to paint pretty much this all over the rest of my guy here um this is supposed to be green all his feathers so we are going to paint that right there and now technically speaking what i should be doing is just moving this all to uh just that layer just to prevent myself from accidentally hitting other layers um that's looking pretty good right there he does have red spiky hair so we're gonna leave the red up top there um but technically this color ball wheel should only be on the the head so I'm going to move this to above the cock head and just alt click on that and that will make it so it's only going to go there. So now I can paint essentially on this all over here and I'm not worried about it hitting the background or anything like that. It's going only on the places that are part of the head. So that kind of avoids hitting the suit. It avoids hitting all these other places that we don't want to hit but continues to keep this looking green uh, so we can match our cock punch nfts feather color here um same thing here i want to make this green i want to make all of this green on the head here uh all of this should be green feathers green green feathers except for the red spiky hair um and his red balls now the same thing applies for the shirt right so technically speaking, I don't actually see orange on the suit. So that's kind of weird. Um, one other thing you can do is you can just go to the adjustment layer of the hue saturation layer and then find like the oranges, uh, the reds, I guess, or the yellows would be probably closer to that, maybe the reds. And then you can adjust the hue. Yeah, so those are our reds, right? And so now I can just reduce that to nothing or brighten it up so it becomes a little lighter, um, something like that to kind of match this. But the, the reality is, is his suit's green. So 
Uh, I don't know that changing the color is going to do me any good here. Um, might just leave it like this. That looks kind of cool. And then again, apply that only to the suit. So now we've just adjusted the suit color. That lets the fist kind of stand out a little bit more too, you know? Um, and then as far as everything else goes, I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. Spear looks good. Uh, what I might do with the spear is just uh, add like a little drop shadow to it. Um, just because it feels like it should have something there. Something like that. Just separate it a little bit from the background. Um, and that's good there. Sheesh, I don't know. What else? I guess the only other thing would be like a shadow um, from our character. What I'll do is I can just put this here below the legs and grab a little bit of this color. And I'm just going to paint in with a very, very low opacity, like a one from here. Just paint kind of like a little shadow here. And uh, I'm just mimicking what I see on the, the uh, reference image here. So just kind of like this a little bit. Obviously, underneath the talons will be a little bit colored. It's going to be difficult with our white that we added here, but, you know, that's cool. Something like this, right? And then I'll add a bigger chunk here. It's basically his body, right? That looks good. That looks like a pretty legit shadow right there. Uh, again, lower the opacity here just slightly so that it feels more realistic. And I think we're good. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the cube saturation off of the suit. I kind of like how the suit was originally. Um, or, you know what? Maybe I will just invert it and then just paint uh, a little bit on here with a higher opacity just to like differentiate some parts of it, right? We can just paint little pieces on the suit here. And then just because I want this to stand out a little bit more, I'm going to go to uh, another adjustment layer, grab the greens only, and just kill the saturation and lightness. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing for the yellows because that is apparently what is going on with this shirt here. Um, and then I am going to also invert that also add it to just the suit and paint white only on the shirt itself so right here is the only part that i really want to be white so we're going to just paint on this here That looks pretty good. There we go. Um, this, I think, is part of that. So oddly enough, this is turning brown, but it should actually be white. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just paint it white. Um, let's just actually grab a layer here. I will just paint white on this jacket suit jacket the under the underneath uh i'm painting gray for whatever reason so let's paint the actual white <laughs> um this is the beauty of the wacom is that you can actually literally just paint just do brush strokes and paint on here so i'm going to just paint this thing to white shout out to that painting class i took that wine and painting class um, taught me how to do this. <laughs> okay. So similar to the canvas, you could just kind of paint, 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 paint in strokes. Perfect. And that kind of lines up. The only thing is now it doesn't match with our thing here. So what I'll probably do is just uh, adjust it so that it's 
the same. So let's do the prince is the best one, and then I'll just lower the opacity. So it's just a slight change, and it matches our shirt from above. Something like that is perfect. Cool. And that about does it, guys. That's our, uh, that's it. I think we're done. I'm just going to save this thing out. Um, and I'm probably going to crop it a little bit more just so that it lines up better with the feet here. Um, and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to crop that, save it. And I'm going to post this as my submission for today. So thanks for watching. Um, I, if you made it through this whole thing, I mean, that's awesome. I don't know how, <laughs> but, uh, now you saw how I did this and how much effort it took to, to actually take AI art and blend it into this thing. Um, and hopefully everyone loves it and I'm glad to be part of the cock punched community. So let's go punch some cocks. So keep holding your cocks. Um, and, and let's see what, what Tim has in store for us. Catch you later.